What up everyone? How's everyone doing? So welcome back to my channel. So I've gotten a lot of questions on how you can maintain the quality of your photo when you're uploading onto Instagram. So I'm here to answer those questions and share five tips on how you can upload the highest quality photo. Let's go. Okay, so my very first tip is to ensure that you are shooting in the highest quality possible. So you have the option of shooting in RAW or JPEG for both phone and DSLR cameras. I shoot everything in JPEG just because um, I edit all my pictures on my phone via Snapseed and I just find it a lot easier, even though Snapseed does now have the capability of editing RAW photos. I just find that RAWs take up a lot more storage on my phone, so if you don't have any issues with that, then I highly recommend shooting in RAW. Your image remains uncompressed and all the details of the photo such as the sharpness and the contrast stays intact versus shooting in JPEG. So whether you're using an Android or an iPhone, you want to make sure that your settings reflect all the highest possible settings. Instagram, regardless of whatever your photo or video is, will always compress the photo. So you want to ensure that before you're posting, it is the highest quality image possible before the compression. Okay, so my second tip is to avoid the use of multiple third-party editing apps. So within Snapseed, you can adjust your settings so that the format and quality is set at 100%. You can also ensure that Snapseed doesn't resize or compress your photo. There are apps that will compress your photos, so the more apps you use and the more edits you add on top of it, the lower the quality of the image will be. So Instagram recommends that your photo is at least 1080 pixels wide. So if it's any bigger or smaller than that, it's going to try to fit it into that 1080 pixel box. And again, we'll lower the quality of your photo. All right, now my fourth tip I've shared in many videos, you want to make sure that you have good lighting. So if you're an experienced photographer or you go and take pictures a lot, you'll know the difference between taking a picture in daylight versus nighttime. So disregarding features like night sight on the pixel. Night shots will always pick up more grain than if you were to take it during the day. So if you're using a low quality camera, it's going to capture that. And once you add edits on top of that and then upload it onto Instagram, it's going to not look so great. <laughs> if you do plan to shoot at night, make sure that the settings on your camera reflect that. I'm not gonna get into too much detail with ISO and aperture in this video, but if you are interested in learning more about what my camera settings are, then shoot me a comment below. Okay, so my very last tip is to be mindful of how you share your photo. So for example, if you took a picture on your phone or your camera and you're sharing it to your computer or desktop to edit, there are certain ways to share your photo without losing the quality of it. I use an app called AirDroid, which transfers it directly from my phone to my computer, but for Apple users, AirDrop works just as well. Email is always a great way to send photos without losing the quality of it. If you do want to send it over WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger or even Instagram, um, do know that it's going to decrease the quality of your photo, so you might want to avoid those channels. Okay, so that sums up my five tips. Of course, if you have any more, please feel free to share in the comments below. Um, I'm interested to know because I'm still trying to figure out what the best way is as well. I'm also not the most technical person out there, so if there was something that I said that was inaccurate, let me know. I'm just basing it on what I've learned so far. Give this video a thumbs up if you want more tips and tutorials. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then you're missing out. Also, I'm always looking for new ideas for videos, so if you have any cool ones, feel free to DM me on Instagram, or if you just wanna chat or have any questions, um, and yeah, follow me on Instagram at Simply T or on TikTok at Tina Dow, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, bye.